Hey everybody, it's Dr. Magnifico from Jared's Full Vet and Polly.com. This is Dixie. She is an older beagle. She's actually was here for knee surgery, but when I looked at her this morning, she says, she says, I'm gonna get from my lip at you. I noticed she had a little bit of swelling sort of right here under her eye. So this looked a little more prominent to me. When I opened her mouth, she had some calculi on this teeth, but the most concerning thing is when you touch this tooth right here, there is what's called a slab fracture. So actually there's a little piece of the tooth that's broken um, that is separating from the rest of the tooth. So you can see that tooth moving. So that's the problem with that is that it's caused this black spot right here, which is the pulp cavity, to open. And she is getting bacteria um, from her mouth that is coming up through the tooth root and then causing the swelling right here. So this is what we call a periapical abscess of the premolar four. So I'll try to show you again. Can you hold her corner back like that? So this little black spot is actually her pulp cavity. Try to get my fingers out of the way. And this little, that's a slab fracture of her tooth. So she has had to have her knee surgery rescheduled. We're gonna put her on antibiotics for a week before her dental and then she'll come in and we'll pull that tooth. It's got a very big tooth root and there's actually three roots to it. So typically we put them on antibiotics for at least a week before and then do the dental and then she'll be on antibiotics for a week after. Um, the price for that here is probably about $80 in antibiotics and then this, the dental surgery and extractions is probably gonna be somewhere between $500 and $700. Um, you know, it's a pretty big tooth and it takes a while. We also do full mouth x-rays and then we'll remove any other tooth that, that, that needs to go. But if your dog has a swelling underneath the eye right there, talk to your veterinarian about looking at the teeth uh, and then look at something called periapical abscess. That's it. Take care. Bye.